What's up guys? So, Coach Jake back again. Guys, I'm here with my friend BMG. Say hi BMG. Guys, we're gonna be showing you what was going crazy on TikTok, the Dagestani secret. Guys, I've stolen this move from Khabib and used it in my Jiu Jitsu and MMA, guys. This is so powerful and effective. And on top of that, guys, I'm gonna show you where I hit it from. Really, it's half guard passing at its finest. But before we get into that, guys, make sure you go hit follow. Make sure you uh, type in the comments what you'd like to see next and you hit the button or the bell and uh, you know get notifications whenever we post new videos. Guys, this video is actually brought to you by my first sponsor ever, Big Horn Athletic Finger Tape. So guys, I don't know about you, every time right, I go to do some wrestling, maybe I bust a finger up, and guys, Big Horn Athletic Tape has some of the best tape on the market right now. I think it's better than all the others out there, guys. So make sure you go show them some love, Big Horn Athletics. I'll leave the link right down there in the description down below. So let's go ahead and start in the half guard position. BMG, if you could lay down for me, please. So guys, a lot of people think that the half guard is very difficult to pass, and it is, especially against somebody who has a very good deep half guard game. BMG here has excellent deep half guards, so it can be very frustrating for a lot of people to get past this position. Now, a lot of us are taught, right, to flatten them out, right, and then try to like go hips up and then pass this way, right, and then slide out to the side control. And that's not bad at all, guys. But I find that with this method, I get a much higher success rate of passing the half guard. Now, of course, guys, there's always, right, we can always just like start to posture up and boom, hit this one, step back, and enter into his legs, right, guys? But let's say maybe you're doing a tournament where heel hooks aren't as available to you, like IBJJF or Jiu Jitsu World League or something, guys. This is where this technique really shines. Look. What I'm gonna do is with this hand right here, I'm gonna turn BMG this way, boom. With this hand, instead of flattening my partner out like this guy, look, I'm gonna pop up for a second and just throw a heavy elbow, boom. Just like that, guys, right on the mat. Sorry, BMG, you didn't mean to elbow in the kidneys. Guys, at this point, look, I'm hugging here, and maybe he's gonna start reaching for my neck, but there's really no chokes here, guys. He's not gonna be able to submit me here. I'll just get off me like that, boom, walk up. Like that, guys. Now, it's very important, once I'm here, guys, my leg is straight up and down. That way, if he does keep a tight lock on this half guard, all I'm gonna do is stiff arm, stiff arm, stiff arm, boom, and now we're here, guys. So, once I'm here, guys, it's much easier for me to start to pummel my foot and step back into reverse case Katami. I love this position, guys. I can go through his pockets, see if he's got a knife, a gun, take his lunch money, right? I could always drop an elbow from the back, guys. Reverse case is great. Maybe he's gonna tag me in the back of the head, not really gonna hurt me that much. The knee in the face, that's what's gonna hurt. Boom, right there, guys, so watch out for that. Guys, the number one thing that happens to me in jiu-jitsu, though, is they start to frame on my back and on my head just like this. Now, this is where we're gonna use the Dagestani secret. What I stole from Khabib to really shut down any chance of his guard coming back into play. What I'm gonna do, guys, look. I'm gonna slap this leg down just like this, step over, and guys, right here, I lock a triangle. Once I've got this triangle, guys, there is no possibility of his legs coming out, right? Maybe he could uh, shrimp out as much as he'd like, but I'm just gonna lock it and start to smash, smash, smash my partner, just like this, guys, coming right up into the mount position. Now, once I'm in mount, right, we walk up his arms, high mount, arm bar, just like we like to do. But, especially in MMA, guys, sometimes, right, I'll get stuck right here, right? If once I come up, Right, I'll just posture on him. I start dropping some bombs, bing, until I slide into the mount position that I always wanted. Now, one more time, guys, check this out. Right here, I'm not flattening him. I'm going casing him, right? My leg has to be up and down. What do we call this, horizontal? Uh, vertical. vertical, thank you. Guys, my leg is vertical. Once I'm here, I'm stiff arming, stiff arming, boom, until I can pummel the leg. Now, I could, come up into this quarter guard and just start to fight out, right? That's also acceptable. Or my favorite, right? Once I pull my leg out, I back step out. And if he does start to stiff on me, now I trap his legs and lock my triangle. Uh-oh, check this out, guys. We always want to be above the knees. If I'm below his knees here, look, he's shrimping out very easily. I'm not shutting him down. Guys, I want his legs 
pinned together like a mermaid, right? Like Ariel. Boom, we're here, I get above the knees, boom, lock the triangle. Now I'm coming up, coming up, coming up, boom, smothering him the entire time until I'm ready to hit the submission of the day. So, I hope you guys learned a lot about passing the half guard and the Dagestani leg shutdown. BMG over here is gonna be a lot of videos going forward. So, hit like, hit subscribe, Ding that bell, comment down below. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.